2011, the time is about 2.23 p.m. This is going to be a voluntary taser exposure of Martin. <laughs> any questions before you take this voluntary taser exposure? Uh, do I need to take anything out of my pocket? No. Nope. Any other questions? There you go. Ah! Fight! Fight! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Fuck off. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wednesday, August 31st, 2011. Maxwell Torres. Max, any questions before you go through this taser exposure? No, sir. And we had a wire break. Oh. Okay, so just sit there and relax. Everybody else look right here. What we had is we had a wire break. You see the probe sitting over there on the ground, right? Yes. In a situation like this, how would you respond? Touch. touch. Reach up and touch. All right, Max, hold on. Ready? Oh! Ah! Ah! All right. Shit. Look over here at me. All right. You all right? Look at me. Okay, you just went through the effects of the taser. How do you feel? Oh, relieved. Look at me. Okay, you're on camera. I feel relieved. Okay. Now, you've been through OC with me, you've been through all these other classes with me. Having gone through the taser, would you now have the confidence to use this tool in the field? Yes, sir. Okay, any doubts in your mind whether or not this would take somebody into control? <laughs> only got one probe to go in him. So, these wires are just real thin, still insulated wire. You can just reach up and break them. It takes relatively nothing to break them. Get right here, thumb and forefinger, get right down at the base, and just Set them right back down in your cartridge side wire pockets. And you're done. All right, get up. What did I feel hitting you right here? That was a probe, but it didn't stick because you got freaking abs of steel. <laughs> abs of steel. Oh Stop. my God. All right, today is Wednesday, August 31st, 2011. This is going to be a voluntary taser exposure of Marcus Haugen. Marcus, any questions before you go through this voluntary taser exposure? No. All right. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Get your hands behind your back. Get your hands behind your back. Get your hands behind your back or you're getting it again. All right. <laughs> I was outstanding. All right, taser is off and safe. All right, you're on camera here. You just went through the taser exposure. How do you feel? Uh, I feel all right now. That was not pleasant. Okay. Uh, could you have fought through that? No. Okay. Having been through the effects of the taser, have you been through... OC pepper spray, defensive yes. tactics, all that stuff. Would you have confidence to use this tool in the field? Yes. Okay. Could you have fought through that? I don't know if I no. asked you that. Okay. And pluck straight out, right to the butt, pluck straight out. Check your barbs, make sure your barbs are there. Looks like we lost one in your butt. <laughs> Drop them into the side wire pocket. And you're done. Stand up. Oh, he did really good. God, that was awesome. That's for you. Okay. So this is what you can expect to see. And Marcus, you'll be able to see this on video here in a little bit. Is just a little dot and a little halo. And typically that's all you get. In the field, you would leave this up to medics, but for training, a little bit of alcohol just to get any residual dirt or anything off. And then a band-aid. You're done. All right. Today is Wednesday, August 31st, 2011. The time is about 10 a.m. This is going to be a voluntary taser exposure of Joseph Leon of Price Protective Services. Joseph, any questions before you go through this voluntary taser exposure? No, sir. 
Take him down. 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 Let him go. Get your hands behind your back. All right. Good deal. Look over here to the left. Take your hands down. All right. Tasers disconnected. You've just been through the effects of the taser ECD. How do you feel? Feels weird. Feels weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, been exposed to the effects of the taser ECD. Would you have confidence to use this tool in the field? Yes, sir. I would have confidence. Okay. Could you fight through that? <laughs> no. Okay. Did you try? Yeah. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments? Which hand do I, my pulling hand? Your, yeah. Okay. Okay. Same thing with the other one. Okay. Make sure the barbs are on there. Yes, sir. Okay. And a little skin. Okay. On this one here, mm -hmm. you see how there's that material underneath the barb? That's one of the, I mean, that's a real good visual indication as to why you don't want to repoke yourself with one of these. You want the stuff? Yep. So this is a typical exposure site. This one's bleeding a little bit more than is typical. But just a little bitty dot and a little bitty halo. Hold the shirt right there, Max. Yes, sir. Grab on. Okay? The radial nerve runs in between the web of your hand and comes straight up the arm and into the crook of the elbow. This little divot right here is perfect for sandwiching that radial nerve. It is only going to be on you as long as you make it be on you. Okay, so instead of reaching up and trying to fight his fingers off or crack them with the flashlight, simply reach up and they will let go. It will stimulate the muscle group and the uh, uh, nerve bundle and it will force the hand to go like a bee sting. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, well that's what I said. It feels like you get stung by a bee. It's not bad. Common peroneal runs between the, uh, the two major thigh muscles. It's a large bundle of nerves that runs right here. We strike here with our baton. We strike here with our knee. You get somebody that is being combative, grab onto them, maybe cover that toe because they're going to lock and they're going to try to run. Just simply rock it up in here. Woo! I'm about to, come here, freak. Come here. Come here. Half a second. Okay, I won't even I won't even block your toe. Do it again. That's it. Do it again. Back off. Me, right? Calm down. The brachial tie-in is right here. It's underneath the clavicle above the pectoral area. It is not the pec muscle itself. It's right up in here. It's a bundle of nerves that runs from behind the ear down here and behind the ear down here. This one is pretty effective if you've got somebody walking up on you. It'll only be on you as long as you let it be on you. Walk towards me. No! Ah! Okay. Jump. Back of the calf. Back of the calf, baby. Lay down. Okay. Hold this leg down. What we're looking for is center of the calf muscle. Your sciatic nerve runs back here, okay? If you can get in the center of this calf muscle, he will feel it from his ankle to his ear. Block this leg off, top of the sciatic, ah! okay? You saw his hand flail. That was relatively involuntary. From here, you would just, I'm not firing it. From here, get your hands behind your back or I'm doing it again. Put your hands Get your hands. Dude, I'm firing, okay? At all. Okay, let's do something as, <laughs> as simple as the buttocks. Okay, there is, no, think about it though. There's no nerve bundles, no bone structure in the buttocks. But if you come up to somebody, ah! oh my God. Fucking dickhead. For video, let's do the radial nerve. Hold on to my hand. Okay. Hold it. He's grabbed on to a pole, a steering wheel, a chain link fence. Radial nerve runs right here, okay? Rather than beating their hand with the flashlight or trying to fight them for their fingers, right? Grab my hand. You understand? Okay? They will let go. <laughs> don't move, don't move, don't move. Get your hands behind your back. Get your hands behind your back. Get Take him down, 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 down. Let him go. Okay. Ah! Bite! Bite! 
Do it again. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Back off. <laughs>